Well, hello there, everyone. It is your lovely host here. <clears throat> it is Team Ari. And how's everyone doing on this Monday's edition? Is that time once again for a wrestling review? This time around, it is SummerSlam. So follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, my own Facebook page, and Instagram. Those ones I've mentioned will be. Sorry, will be down below. So, <clears throat> sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the SummerSlam review. Let's get on with it. Now, there are, what, eight matches last night? SummerSlam. The Thunder Boom, very interesting. I'm glad they had brought back the pyro. I missed that because they can't do it at the Performance Center because the Performance Center is so flipping small. So, what are your thoughts so far on the Thunder Dome? I know they did it this past this past Friday and last night. I guess they're gonna keep doing this until October. Okay. First win is a kickoff. The WUS Championship is up for grabs. Paul Cruz versus MVP. A lot of you say this should be on the main card, but maybe next time. Paul Cruz re re regained his US title, so that means he's still your US champion. I mean, it is okay match. You know, it's like as an appetizer for the main card. The main show. Now the first match to kick off SummerSlam. It is the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. is up for grabs. Bailey, She had a belt for a long time. And versus Asuka. Bailey retained because Sasha Banks um, is a huge distraction. Um, she got involved. So she, <clears throat> Bailey is still your Women's Champion for the SmackDown brand. Next one is the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships up, up for grabs. Now, the WWE was smart. They should have one non-title match, another one title match, another one non-title. Two matches, no, actually, three matches in a row, three title matches. That's kind of stupid, I think, but whatever. So... They should mix it up a little bit. Like I said before, uh, non-title match, title match, non-title match, you know what I'm saying? But this is not Night of Champions, you know what I'm saying? I could used to do it. Okay, now back to what I was saying. The Street Profits are still your Raw Tag Team Champions. Eventually, the other groups will become the new Tag Team Champions, but it's not their time. So, what's your thoughts? That match was okay. He had a great moment. Um, you know, it was not the best, you know, I know a lot of you don't like the street process, but if you like it, then don't watch W anymore. So, it has some good spots, some of them were not very good, I'm to my best there. Next one, it was, no disqualification, loser leaves W. Manny Rose versus Son Sony Deville, I guess they changed it, the original Stipulation was hair versus hair. So, Sony Deville lost. It was a very okay match, okay? So, Sony Deville lost. You know she'll be back eventually. I think she just takes some time off. What happened with her recently with a stalker. So, probably she's got to deal with that. So, next match is a street fight. Seth Rollins versus Dominic... Mysterio, Rey Mysterio was on the side. Eventually, Rey Mysterio got involved. They had the wife um, top of the ramp. And the cool part is um, Seth Rollins dressed up as Rey Mysterio. You know, that purple uh, ring gear back in the day from um, WCW days. I think Halloween Havoc. And also, Dominic paid his tribute to Rey Mysterio. He paid his tribute to Eddie Guerrero, I'm sorry, I kind of botched it. It was a 
great for Fox Splash, but of course, Eddie Guerrero did it better than Dominic. It was a pretty good thing. He did a 619, and by the day, he did not pick up his first victory. Eventually, he will. So, hopefully, this feud is over with. So, uh, next match is our WWE Raw Women's Championship. is up for grabs. Asuka versus um, Sasha Banks for Sasha Banks Women's Championship. So, Asuka won, and Bailey did not help Sasha Banks. So, does that mean that team's going to break up finally, hopefully? Because this is kind of coming up. They got to defend their, the women's tag team belts at a payback coming up. Two back-to-back -back pay-per-views. That's kind of stupid, really, but whatever. So you could tell that um, Sasha Pink was not too happy with Bailey. So maybe someone's going to get very mad and maybe Sasha Banks will challenge Bailey for her belt down the road. Maybe she got to do a double duty at payback but we'll see so it was a pretty good match you know I'm glad for Asuka got her belt back she you know a lot of people don't like her but whatever next match is a W championship Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton it was a pretty decent match um how Drew McIntyre won was a backslide one, two, three. You never saw it coming. I guess that's a theme for WWE right now. I'm glad that Randy Orton didn't win because he did not need this victory late in his career. Someone's going to break Ric Flair's record. It's going to be Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair, I'm sorry, not Ric Flair, Charlotte Flair, uh, Randy Orton, possibly, down the road, John Cena. Hopefully that's not the case. I think only one person deserves to break Rick Flair's record. It's his own flesh and blood. Rick, only only one person I could think of could break Rick Flair's record. The only flesh and blood it is Charlotte Flair. That's the only thing one I could think of. I don't like Charlotte Flair because she's overrated. Next one is the main event. It's the WWE Universal Championship Falls Count Anywhere match. It was a very good, unique match. They use weapons. They use this. They use that. Uh, so Braun Strowman lost the belt to AK Bray Wyatt, AK The Fiend, however you want to say it. So he won. He got his belt back. So that's awesome. Out of nowhere, guess who came back? Roman Reigns. So he did not just spear. The WWE Universal Champion, he speared Braun Strowman. He went, you know, he went crazy. Of course, he still had that, the same hairdo. I thought he would get a haircut. He still had the same uh, ring attire, ring gear on why he don't change it. People say he's heel. I don't think so because he's, he speared both of the heels in, anyway. So, what's the point? So... I had a feeling that Roman Reigns is going to get this opportunity without even... I mean, he came back and he hold up the title to close out the show. So, I'm not really, put, I'm not really surprised that Roman Reigns came back, especially at SummerSlam. He'd been gone for months. So, we'll find out this Friday what does he have to say. I don't think he's going to say anything tonight on Raw. I doubt it. So, overall, it was a... Pretty decent show. The main event was pretty decent. You know. He has some great spots. But. The only why that. Bray Wyatt won. Or AK The Fiend. Because he will face. Roman Reigns. Or Roman Reigns will challenge. The Fiend for the belt. Probably a payback. Or down road. If W was smart. Make it a triple threat match. It would be very nice. But we all know what's going to happen. Roman Reigns is going to get that belt that quickly. With no build up or nothing. Because he's Roman Reigns. And he, McMahon loves him with a passion. So stupid. So Braun Strowman had a belt since. What? Mania? I think. And then last night. The Fiend won it. And then out of nowhere. Roman Reigns speared both of those competitors. 
So does this mean a heel turn for Roman? I don't think so. He needs a heel turn. He needs um, new ring gear. He needs everything brand new. So we'll find out. He looks very pissed off last night. Of course, he had a new shirt. So I'm assuming that those shirts are on W Shop for twenty four ninety nine. You know, always new shirt for W, always expensive, always. So what's your thoughts? Do you think SummerSlam delivered <clears throat> or do you think NXE delivered? Probably a lot of you are going to say NXE delivered more than WWE uh, SummerSlam. So what's your thoughts? Everyone out there, have a good one. And I'll be back tonight for the return of wrestling news and all that mumbo jumbo. So it seemed like this show went very, very fast. I think I ended like eight, a little after 8.30. So I think eventually when they had the full roster and a crowd, a real crowd, instead of virtual reality, the show would be a little longer again. I'm assuming. Have a good one and I'll be, <clears throat> be back tonight.